I'm gonna be honest with you, this might be the best deck in the normal and rare rarity festival. So broken, combos are insane, the boards are endless. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because I'm bringing you to guys what I think is the best deck in the normal and rare rarity festival. It's one of the most fun decks. You guys might be thinking, oh, but it's just gadgets. It's just earth machines. Yes, but you can end on some pretty cool monsters, some pretty crazy boards. I'm not going to do a full deck profile right now. I'll show you guys the whole card list at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around till the end of the video to see the full card list and my card choices. But if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel content. I've been having so much fun with this event, I've been doing so much with this format, and I've been having so much fun in Master Duel in general, and this deck is going to be one of the best decks, if not the best deck in the format, and I think it's very, very slept on. Not enough people are talking about it, and I think it's one of the most fun decks of the format, which is very, very important. Thank you guys all for watching. I'm really excited to get into these duels, and with that, let's get into the duels. Alright, so we're going to be going first here, and I'm super excited because this deck is gonna blow your minds away. It's so powerful in this normal and rare format because you can set up boards that, to be honest, out anything that your opponent has to throw at you. So here is why this deck is so crazy. This one card alone with any gadget essentially gives you a full combo and you have backup to protect your monsters. It's so insane. So we're gonna start off by activating our heavy forward, which is going to get us our infinite track anchor drill now the combo only requires two earth machines so it requires your anchor drill as well as any gadget now if you have a silver gadget it still works even though it's on an earth machine because all you would have to do is summon the gadget first and then it will summon the anchor drill so regardless you're in a good spot here but here we're going to start off by summoning our anchor drill we're going to activate its effect to summon our green gadget and the best part about this deck is that the gadgets will all search other gadgets so you will always have cards in rotation ready to go. So now what you're going to do is you're going to activate your anchor drill, target your green gadget, and then you have both level eights. And you know what that gives us access to? Draglubion. Draglubion in this deck is insane. Now you guys might be thinking like, oh, Draglubion is one of those cards that's really good going second because you can push and summon big monsters and try to OTK from there. No, we're going to play it a little bit differently in this deck. So here what we're going to do, you can detach really any card, doesn't really matter what you detach. We're going to special summon Heart Earth Dragon. Now we're going to summon it and it doesn't matter what you put under it as a material. Here in this case, we're just going to put Heartland Draco because it's a number monster, it's a dragon. We're going to set two cards. So as my opponent goes here and as we go into our end phase real quick, I'm going to read out to you guys what Heart Earth Dragon does. So it cannot be destroyed by battle and your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken with attacks involving this card. So essentially they can't attack into it. So it gives itself a little bit of a battle protection. Protection. On top of that, during your opponent's end phase, you can detach an Ixis material from this card, banish all cards your opponent currently controls. And it looks like we're actually funny enough going into a mirror match. Because now, as soon as he goes into his end phase and whatnot, again, this is why it's so great with this deck, because if you go first, you set this up and you have like your compulse and some like protection, you're in such a good spot here. But I'm just gonna let this go off because I don't really mind. As soon as he goes into his Draglubion, potentially I'll just compulse at that point, or I'll Sakurutsu in the battle phase. But here it doesn't really matter what he sets up, because at the end of the day, if he puts up like five back row potentially, or four back row, a couple monsters, whatever, it's all going to get banished. And yeah, like our, like he has to scoop it up. Really, you have to scoop it up because you cannot play around it. Again, this is why this deck is so powerful because you're literally playing a combo where at the end of your opponent's turn, they can't battle into it. You're playing protection. And at the end of your opponent's turn, everything's going to get banished. And then on your next turn, again, you guys saw we had two more gadgets in our hand to keep extending. We had the Draglubion to keep extending as well. We're just going to OTK on our next turn. This might be the most broken deck in all of the normal and rare festival. I'm not even lying to you guys when I say this deck is super, super hype. Now you guys might be thinking, oh, but that's only going first. It's not that great going second. Well, here we actually won the, the coin flip again and you're gonna wanna go first always. I'm not gonna lie to you, but you can go second as well because keep in mind, Draglubion can also summon other rank eight dragon monsters that are big beaters and can help you push for a big damage, okay? So here again, we're going first. It doesn't really matter. Look at our hand. We have protection. We have our anchor drill combo. That's really it. You guys can set this up literally every single time. It's so consistent because you can play triple anchor drill, but you can also play triple of the card that searches your anchor drill. So you're in such a good spot from there. And again, you always have the gadgets recycling each other. So you're always going to have cards in your hand. 
and this combo is so consistent you guys literally saw i haven't even made any cuts or anything since the last duel i've just straight been going and it's so consistent you guys can see back to back hands we're gonna make the exact same combo and the best part about this festival and this event is you're not really worried about hand traps actually you're not worried about hand traps at all i don't believe there's any hand traps that are either normal or rare so like here what like you're just gonna set this up and it doesn't really matter what your opponent tries to do because you're safe no matter what it is you're safe so here we're gonna set it up again we're gonna set up a bottomless we're gonna set up a sakuretsu and boom and we have follow up with a gadget on our next turn we have draglubi on our next turn to summon another dragon monster we're so so good right now and yeah look let's see what he does honestly it doesn't really matter what he does we have battle protection we have just summon protection he can't really do much okay so he has an mst sure that's fine that's no problem unless he has a second mst then it becomes a little bit of a problem the nice part about heart earth dragon is that it can't actually be destroyed by battle so it has to get balanced it has to get popped something like that oh no 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 all right so in this case we lost our heart earth dragon i won't lie to you bad matchup bad matchup doesn't count doesn't count but again regardless it's still very very strong because it doesn't matter what he does here he still has to play through uh 3000 attack Drugluby on here which oh well he has a kaiju that's really the only way he could play through it but again does he have anything to get rid of the kaiju oh he has his own kaiju nice okay cool it doesn't really matter at this point this is a really weird build here if he tries to crash i'm just gonna sakuretsu and now i have the biggest monster on board so ggs but yeah so you guys can see like okay sure we got unlucky they broke the board but you guys can see how powerful the board really can be and here we just are in a very demanding position at this point because ooh, we drew another silver gadget so now we're going to summon our silver gadget here again we have unlimited extension you guys can see that we have unlimited extension here we can actually summon our boot up soldier here because it gains 2000 attack while you control a gadget monster or we can go to our reg gadget which is going to get us another card here i think the best play is to actually just go to our red gadget and the only reason i say that is because here it's going to get us another card to our hand we're always going to have consistent cards in hand and we're going to be deck thinning through our deck so we're going to be getting you know rid of these bricks that you essentially don't want to draw you rather be searching right here i guess we just go into battle phase i was thinking of going to our extra deck but i don't even think we need to i think we just go into battle phase and i think pretty much we control the game state at this point i don't think there's much else our opponent can do so you guys saw even when the board is broken actually i'm really happy that they broke our board because i got to show you guys that hey this deck and this combo is so insanely broken because if he doesn't break the board it doesn't matter what's he what he puts on the board it's all gonna get banished but if you do break the board perfectly fine we have so much follow-up that really after you break our board it doesn't really matter what you do because we're always going to have more cards than you we're always going to have the extra gadgets we're always going to have the extra cards here look silver gadget will float like do you need to see what i mean like you're always going to have extra cards some of the gold gadget here and we can actually activate the gold gadget effect which is probably why that was a better play here we can summon our boot up and this is at 2k now yo senju's they're going to go back to his hand at the end phase Unless he has a battle trap here, we win, essentially, right? And uh, I don't think there's anything in our extra deck that will get rid of back row inherently. Unfortunately, when you're stuck with a normal and rare format, you are stuck with very limited card pool. But you can abuse the best cards in the format. And I think this is one of the best decks in this particular format. Because so much consistency, so much synergy, and it's just so, so powerful. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter what he goes into here. Okay, so what does this card do? Cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. And if it points to two monsters, you can switch control of those monsters. Okay, that's fine. So here's another example. We just drew our Infinite Track Anchor Drill, and we can do the Dragoon Beyond play all over again. Of course, here we don't need to. I'm actually going to save the Anchor Drill, and the reason I'm going to do that is because I don't want to play into something like Torrential and whatnot. So if this is a battle trap, it ends up breaking my board, then I can go into this. So it's a safe play. We're going to make the safe play here. We're just going to attack. We're just going to go straight up into battle phase. And yeah, I think we got it here i don't think he has anything to stop us and with that two and oh just like that without even stopping and without cutting without going through different matches without anything i got to show you guys how the combo works and how broken it is and i got to show you guys what the deck can do even if they break your boards this deck is insanely powerful i'm having so much fun with it i really think you guys should try it out yourselves let me show you guys the deck real quick just so you guys can get an idea of how the deck should be played and how it can be built. Here we're playing three green gadget, three red gadget, three yellow gadget, very consistent. You need a gadget in your hand at all points for this combo to go off. Then you're playing one of the boot up soldier, just one, just because it comes up obviously with your gadgets like you guys saw there, 2000 attack, pretty big. You have three silver as well as three gold and three infinite track. Now, like I said, in I think the first duel, if you open the infinite track and you don't open an earth machine, it's fine because you can summon a gold gadget or potentially a silver gadget and then you can special summon a level four or lower machine monster 
monster, which means you can just summon your anchor drill from there. So regardless, if you draw anchor drill or any and any one of these gadgets, you have the full combo. That's insane. And you guys might be thinking, okay, but what if you don't draw your anchor drill? That's why we're playing triple heavy forward as well, which is pretty much a rota for your anchor drill. So you're going to have six copies of this card. Essentially, you're always going to get to this card. Then we're just playing a bunch of staple cards in this format. MST playing chalice, playing bottomless, we're playing Sakuretsu, we're playing compulse and we're playing floodgate. You guys can see the whole point of this deck is make your Draglubion, make your heart earth Drago, protect it. Your opponent's board is going to get wiped. You are going to always have follow up with this deck. And then on your next turn, you can summon something like your number 46, which funny enough has a similar name to Draglubion, Draglu Draglubion. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but point is you summon this it's at 3k. You can also funny enough, go into your Google eyes, not with your, with your Draglubion, but you can go into Google eyes just with a second, uh, one of the infinite tracks because it'll make a rank eight. So you can go into this and this actually becomes 4k attack. So there's just so many ways for this deck to win. And on top of that, like you guys saw, the board gets broken, it's fine. I just put up a bunch of big monsters and I'm just gonna beat you that way anyways. So I'm having so much fun with this deck. I think you guys should definitely try it out yourselves. Oh, I didn't even go through the extra deck here. We're playing double number 50, triple number 82, double number 52, googly eyes, Dragluon, double Draglubion, double heart earth dragon, and double double headed. Now I don't really go into any of these outside of the rank eights. Sometimes you can go into the blank ship. So try it out. If you guys haven't already, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel content. I'm having so much fun with this event. You guys should try it out yourselves. I hope they bring this event back in the future because it's going to be gone in about a week or so. If they do bring it back or maybe they make it a permanent event, that'd be super, super fun. There's so many different decks you can play and this is one of my favorites. Thank you guys all for watching and with that, Spanko, Saturday. Peace.